G'day and welcome to the Riftbreaker. For those of you who like me uh, up until very recently, uh, I'm not familiar with this game. I think my best explanation of what it feels like is, at least so far, kind of like if you took Factorio, mixed in a little tower defense, a little bit of twin stick shooter with this mech and the way you control it, and kind of mashed it all together with some horde mode RTS. The survival mode that I'm playing right now is something I've played a little bit of so far, and... Weapon drops. <laughs> I think that's the quickest I've failed it! <laughs> oh no, what have I done? <laughs> okay, um... Did not realize that was so explosive. Good to learn. So, this is the first time I've played Underground. I haven't seen these things. I've been playing up on the surface, trying to learn the game, get a bit of a handle on things so that I <laughs> wouldn't do anything stupid. And then that. Wow. Uh, okay. Yeah, learning. I gotta learn. Weapons activated. We're ready to Oh man, that's so bad. I can't believe I did that. That was so incredibly dumb. All right, so. <laughs> goals in this game. We gotta collect resources, we gotta build stuff up, and we gotta defend against enormous hordes of enemies. Now, normally, prior to the DLC that's coming out today, or as this video comes out, you would be on the surface, you'd be fighting against enemies all on the surface, but now they've added an underground area that you can fight in, which is where I'm at right now. And this is new to me, because I thought it might be fun to play it through first while recording it, while still having a vague understanding of how I play the game. So, to begin with, we need to build ourselves a headquarters. I'm going to try and place it near this patch of sunny ground, because I'm going to guess that that's going to be the only place I'm going to get solar power from. And we've got a geothermal vent over here, which is also going to be a decent power source. So I'll clear out a bit more space, and then put this down here, so we're right near our power sources. Let's get some solar panels down first, because they're a lot cheaper. I might even go and try and collect some of this carbon myself while the headquarters is being built. Oh, it just finished, of course. <laughs> now, I can't afford to build the geothermal just yet. It's quite expensive. And it does produce a lot more power than the solar, but the solar is so cheap, I really need to start with them. We're going to need the power from the solar panels to operate these carbon mines. And I'm going to need a little bit of extra carbon to run the power lines out to this mine. So we if we go from there, as let's as connect possible. that node to there, and there we go. We should now be able to build some carbon factories. One of the mistakes I think I've made on my previous runs on the surface was that I didn't reach out and grab resources quickly enough. One of the things I've always struggled with, even though I've played a lot of RTS games over the years, one of the things I've always struggled with is being aggressive enough towards the collection of resources. I tend to be a little bit, well, a little bit slow. I kind of turtle up and I try and hold my position, but I get the impression in this game, it is super important to reach out and get resources as quickly as you possibly can, even if that means losing the resources put into the buildings that you're using to collect those things. Now, solar panels are only gonna be effective for a portion of the day, so I'm gonna need to get some storage up and running quickly too. Let's dig that in. We've got an attack coming in just, just over three minutes. My hope is that I can get enough built up that I can protect my HQ and those solar panels. I don't care about these mines. I'm completely ignoring these mines. I just want to protect my base and my solar panels. So we've got our energy production over here, our energy usage here, and our storage here. I'm going to totally overbuild my storage because... I am really worried that I'm going to run out of power during the night. Especially while I'm waiting for a point where I can build up this geothermal power plant. And the reason I'm excited about the geothermal is it produces a total of 200 energy. Whereas these solar panels, they produce 20 each. There we go. Storage is up to 21,000. Let's keep pushing that. Now, let's start putting some defenses down. I'm going to need to go and find some iron quickly. Oh, actually, rather than mining it by hand, let's put some iron factories down on this. Let's try and fill that storage before it not hits night. I've got a minute left. Now I can use my suit's weapons to try and defend myself and defend this base. I've got a grenade launcher with 
one less grenade than I started with because I accidentally shot the wall right at the start there. Uh, and I've got my little machine gun and I've also got my pickaxe, which is my melee weapon. I think I'm going to try and build my initial set of walls around the geothermal and that solar spot. I am going to need a bit of space inside here beyond just the core buildings because I'm going to have to have things to support the towers that I'm building. I don't know where that solar... Dang it, I don't know where the sunspot goes to. Oh, I should have marked it out. Okay, it's coming from the north. Alright. Let's see if I can get at least a few towers down. Let's put them right out against the HQ. Alright, here's the thing. What is the thing? Weapons out. It's a diggy thing. Oh, I do not want to stand in front of that. Behind it. No, no, don't hit me. Ow! Holy... Is under attack. No, not repair. Alright, dead. Oh, and now a whole bunch of other nasties. And I'm out of ammo. I'm not going to be able to make new ammo for a little while either. Storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Okay. Let's repair. We can select repair areas, which is really quite nice. Place those walls. Alright, I'm gonna need to make more storage for the minerals because the geothermal is more expensive than I have max storage for. So if I pop down two of these, that I think might be enough. I'm building two gates here because I'm going to double up on the walls. More walls equals more better. <laughs> I think. Daytime to come. And I'm about to run out of power. Entirely. Uh, biomass power plant. I've got 29 biomass. I wonder if I can go out and collect some more. Oh yeah. Run that for a few more seconds. <laughs> Let's do this. While I'm waiting for that carbon to be collected so I can build the geo. Oh, double geo. There's another one right here. Wait, is that geothermal? Is that something else? Ooh, no, maybe something else. Doesn't look like the other one. Let's clear some of this out. Since they got that diggy bug, it's not like I can use this stuff to create choke points anyway. What do I need for the geothermal? Ooh, solar's back up. What the? What? Not very good at this game. <laughs> Face the uh, death. Oh, and almost accidental destruction of myself again. With the plants, didn't tell you that. More carbon factories. Because we're not getting it fast enough. Because I can't build stuff. I'm gonna increase my rate of production a bit. Got any more around here? I should go searching. I'm not using the iron up particularly fast, so I'm not gonna use my limited power reserves on getting more of it just yet. I'm just waiting to get enough carbon so that I can make this geothermal because I'm going to need it to keep power running through the night I think. Can I craft any... no I need to make the armory first. Okay. Oh more carbon. Alright let's build. Sweet. Come on. Cranking it out that's better. Alright we have a geo. Let's build that. Okay now I can start focusing on my defenses. I need to get lots of these AI hubs up because I can only build another two turrets. I need one of these for every single turret I build. So I need lots of these AI hubs. The AI hubs use 20 energy each. That's why I've been focused so heavily on getting my energy storage and generation up as quickly as I could. Okay, we'll just live with three and I'll put down as many turrets as I can. I think... Oh, they're almost here. Okay. That's not good. I need to go out and fight that big dude before he gets hit. Turn. It's getting behind it. No, it's attacking my iron. I mean, my carbon mines. At least while it's attacking those, I can just wail away on it with reckless abandon. No! Ow! Why? Why can't? Why does this always happen? I go to say, oh yeah, this happens, and no. 
been destroyed. I can wail away with reckless abandon until its friends One come and help. Energy connectors has been destroyed. Get this guy. Go away, you support creatures. Ironium Die, big storage. horrible creature no thing. Facilities. I don't know what you are. Mining thing. All right, repairs. Let's get that mine reestablished. See, perfect. That didn't cost me too much to repair and replace. It's all up and running again already. Oh. Oh. This isn't a geothermal. This produces wind. Ah. More storage facilities. Nice. So that's where I can run a bunch of wind plants. All right, that's all the turrets I can build currently placed. Let's connect them up to the power grid. Running low on the old power front. So I might actually try and incorporate that wind area into this. I can see down in the bottom left. Nope, that's the bottom right. I can see down in the bottom right. Oh, uranium. Ow. I can see the wind and solar efficiency down in the bottom... down here. And it seems to be located exactly where my player character is. So, where I'm standing, it's now up at 97%, but currently it's night, so there's no production. Ooh. The geothermal vent outputs something. Hang on. We've got liquid metal storage. Liquid material storage, sorry. Yeah, let's put this down. I've never done this before. I'm curious what I end up with here. What am I going to be storing? And is it going to be useful to me? Uh, mud. I <laughs> have no idea what mud is useful for. Purifies contaminated fluids like mud and produces clean water, requires energy to operate. Oh, okay. It's an earthquake. It's going to seriously oh, damage. Oh man, all that is a bad position for an earthquake to hit. That is almost my entire base. Oh, that is brutal. Come on, earthquake, stop! Everything's taking damage. I need it to stop. The earthquake has stopped. Let's oh, assess the mind. damage. We're just gonna throw down a wall. It's not going to do anything much, but it might just slow them down enough that I can use these wind power plants as kind of a sacrificial thing that's relatively cheap to replace. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I need more gates too. Make sure all this stuff around here is repaired. All my towers. All right, turrets. All of the turrets. This is going okay. I do need to reach out and get some more materials, though. I'm still having to wait a little bit with building these turrets, and I do want to put... Uh, I need to put more AI modules down, too, now. How many towers have I got down? 28, that's... I'm detecting a large group I of creatures more. heading towards our position. Especially when I hear comments like that. <laughs> Great. It's coming in. Oh, that's what I need to do. I need to put down an armory so I can start producing ammo for my suit again. Uh, where can I put this? Alright, I'm putting it against the wall, but I'll have to push the wall out. More towers, and they're coming in from this direction, so let's go. Where you at, big jerk? Come here. Let's see if I can do enough damage to you before your friends arrive. Oh, I stunned him! Oh no, don't turn on me! Ow! Oh no! Oh well, one suit down, but the bad guy's down, so now I can get out there and try and kill the little dudes. Well, the not so little dudes as those guys. Lose. Base is under attack. Oh yeah, I'm gonna die again. <laughs> I think I'm going to be using my suit to try and take these guys out. This is not good. There this is, is a brutal. breach in our walls. A building has been destroyed. So they've only so far gotten to my wind power plant. They haven't gotten to anything else yet. Which is partially why they're kind of able to just do whatever they want, because I didn't actually defend it in any meaningful way, except for with my own dead, frozen... Mecha corpse. Base is under attack. I'm sure, I don't do damage to my own structures. 
we go. Those back up and running. What? Still crunching on things. It's really annoying that this pickaxe has a minimum range. So I think I keep swinging over them. Or at least I think it has a minimum range. I might be able to make a new weapon now that I've got the armory built though. Let's have a look. Oh, I just wasted another grenade. Uh, all right, armory crafting. Let's make a, I don't want the sword. Hang on, what type of damage have I currently got with the pick? Pick is area damage. All right, so we don't want another area damage. I'm gonna get myself a damage over time versus higher damage. I'm gonna make the sword. Crafting completed. Okay. So now I can add the sword to my left hand items. And now I can switch between those two. I might also make myself a another a third weapon for this side. So I've got the grenade launcher, which is explosive. I've got the small machine gun, which is whatever the, the percussive. I don't know what type. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Uh Ooh, armor plating, energy sensors. Oh, maybe something like this would be better. Make myself plus 20 hit points, increase my resistance. Okay, maybe we do that instead. Crafting completed. Where do I install that? Upgrades. Armor plating. Equip. Yeah. All right, cool. So... <laughs> As you've now seen, you can upgrade your mech and do all sorts of stuff to it too. Haven't quite figured out the mods yet. There doesn't seem to be an option to equip them, but there does appear to be a thing that you can do to disassemble them. I'm not exactly sure how they work yet. I'm sure I will figure it out, given a bit more time. And I suspect I'll be getting that time because I've been enjoying this so far. <laughs> and with it having a Twitch integration, yep. It has a vanilla Twitch integration. Uh, I think I'll be streaming this as well. Just in case I want to die more horribly. Alright. Power production is great. So we can do this and build some more AI control modules. We're going to get more turrets. And then I'm going to take a fairly big risk. One of the things you can do in this, as you can upgrade your suit so you can upgrade things like your headquarters and other buildings if I upgrade my headquarters a very very large attack comes but I need to upgrade my headquarters in order to be able to do some research the communications hub is required for research and it needs headquarters level 2 so I've got to get through that battle so that's why I'm going to put down every turret I possibly can probably a bunch more walls so I can see if I can withstand that attack when it comes. One of the things I think could be really helpful is having forward walls because then I can get in there with my suit and do a lot of damage before the turrets even get into firing into the firing line. Although if I set them close enough the turrets can hopefully support me while I'm there. Base is under attack. What? Where? No. Has been destroyed. These horrible things. Put these vulnerable too. Let's try these. Oh. Oh yeah. Ironium storage is full. They don't like that. Facilities. What is this over here? Oh! Wall destroyed. No! I Your want to discover the thing. Oh. Purple, horrible beam laser thing. Uh, I have unlocked a new, unique Build item. Storage facilities. An energy connector has been destroyed. Uh, purple skull on my map. Where is that? Oh! What the... Oh, I'm about to die. I need to get this ward. Where's that skull? Let me die where I'm useful! 
I think I got it. <laughs> One of our walls has been destroyed. I don't know how useful that energy mine is going to be. Has been destroyed. Base is under attack. All right, got the three of them. Connector has been destroyed. I need better towers. I need these upgrades. Which means I need the research, which means I need to take on a massive attack. Oh, I don't know if I can handle it yet. Let's try and get those rebuilt while these guys are here. No, I've got the wrong thing up. We can didn't have my weapons active. I was trying to build stuff. <laughs> oh, it's a breach in our walls. Destroyed. Okay, I got him. But I'm basically a walking landmine at this point. So this is where that willing to throw away. Um, oh, it's resisting that. Weapon drop. We can try to recover it later. I'm somehow holding my ground on this one. Oh, I'd already killed it. I need to get that purple skull thing, I think. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The base is under attack. There is a breach in our walls. Yeah, I got him. Okay. Got heaps of carbon ready to go. Let's get this power plant back up and running. Once I've got enough... I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. Yeah, great. Attacking coming... F wasn't that the attack? What the heck was that that I just got hit with? How is that not the attack? There's another one coming. Oh, man. I need to go get my weapon. Okay, bad guy is up here. Come on. Die. Yes. Much quicker. All right, where are the net, where are the rest of them coming from? Here we go. No, they're resistant to that. Great. They're not resistant to that though. And I'm not resistant to their attack either. I'm gonna stand in the middle. I'm gonna go down and take them with me. Under attack. Oh, these guys are keeping me so occupied. I've got no time to do anything. Got more bad guys? We're good. I think we're okay for a minute. Okay. Um. All right. If we're okay for a minute. Let's do the upgrade. Yep. Let's take the chance now. upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We should reinforce our defenses as much as we can. Thanks, Things mechanical voice man. Hot, very soon. Yep, it will. So I've gotten to the point in the surface maps oh, where I have done the upgrade. Surviving the upgrade, I haven't really done. I'm going to see whether I can do anything useful up here. Like, uh, get this. Ow. 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 Oh, jeez. We can try to recover it later. Base is under attack. Great. That's not what I wanted to do. I shouldn't have done that. I was done. Although I think I may have just been attacking the ones that were actually about to attack my base anyway. Oh. Oh no, there's more of the purple lasers. And they're attacking right on my storage this time. One of our engine connectors has been destroyed. Wall destroyed. One of our buildings has been destroyed. I'm just going to keep trying to run straight into the middle of them and try and take as many of them with me as I can. I've got to get to those purple skull things. 
matter what else, that's what I gotta do. So many. I think I might have been. I think I might have made a grave error trying to get this done now. An energy connector has been destroyed. I think they might. I think, I think I might be done. That's my HQ. They are smashing it. Oh no. <laughs> I did the wrong thing. I wasn't ready. All the preparations that we could. Let's I wasn't ready. Okay, I got a few of them that time. Maybe that'll be enough. Base is under attack. Oh no! Oh no, the HQ still stands. For a moment longer. Come on, let me through! Let me through! Let me through! Oh, I think I might have done it! Oh no, there's still one left. Come on, come on! If I can get through this, I can repair. I know I can repair. <laughs> No! No! They did it! This will buy some time until the next attack. Ah! Nuts. <laughs> well, I think it's obvious that there are plenty of areas that I could improve there <laughs> from actually defending the direction from which I got attacked. And probably putting down forward walls on more than just one tiny little corner. But that's the Rift Breaker. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be playing more of this because this is bringing back some really, really fun memories of me, for those of you old enough who know what I'm talking about, me playing Total Annihilation, the Krogoth encounter, and just the waves and waves of enemies. Because I do love me and RTS. Not good at them, still love them. If you're interested in the game or the new DLC, Into the Dark, the link is at the top of the description. And keep an eye out on Twitch because, as mentioned earlier, this has a Twitch integration. So I think there's a very high chance I'm going to be streaming this a bit just to see what mayhem that unleashes. Thanks very much to Exor for sponsoring this video. And there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then.